what I eat in a day, raw vegan edition. Here's my morning shape and how do I exercise at the moment? Well, the two last months of the last year were very inactive and the last 10 days have been more active with a run every second day. So just starting with water because water is important. I drink about two and a half liters in winter. I drink mostly when I wake up and before meals and also I rinse my mouth after meals, especially after citrus meals because it's acidic. So I'm cutting up a lot of tangerines in four and here's the amount. Well, it tastes very good. It's, uh, it's in season at the moment. So today I eat them whole. I don't juice them. And there will be cats passing in front of the camera all the time, but that's just cats. They are curious. Every time something special happens, they will be here. Anyway, back to the topic of food. Do I worry about not having enough protein, not having enough fats? Well, I have enough fats and enough protein. It's in every plant that I eat, in fruit, in starches, in greens. And you'll see at the end of the video the chronometer report for the calorie intake. And it's funny, I know my body so well that I prepared the exact amount of tangerines that I was going to need. So when I eat the last one of them, I just feel full and that's perfect. You'll see my full belly in a second and this is not bloating. That's just a belly full of fiber, water, and it's temporary. It's lunchtime and I'm hungry anyway. So let's check what I can use. There's plenty of ripe bananas. I'm going to use the ripest ones. Plus a persimmon that's soft enough. The rest is not soft enough at all. So I only want the sweetest stuff. Smoothie ingredients. So these eight bananas. I know the ones on the left look not so spotty, but they are soft, which means they're ready. Also some frozen raspberries in crumbs. Oh, they are cheaper than the full ones, but it's the same thing. That soft persimmon. And lamb's lettuce, which I cleaned already. And of course some water and a bit of sugar. You'll see. Today I spoil you guys. Time-lapse of uh, food prepping, time-lapse of eating and uh, calorie composition in chronometer. So I hope you appreciate the video. Uh, so I put my ingredients in the blender, like the usual. And as you notice, I'm wearing a poncho because it's cold in our place. We don't heat up. It's 18 degrees inside. I put all the pills in the compost bin of the residence. Now in France, there is a system of collecting the fruit and vegetable waste. So I guess that's a good thing. Paul is preparing his rice curry and I'm adding sugar and I'm not adding seeds. I add seeds very rarely. Why? Because I believe I don't need them and I don't like them. And it's time to eat the smoothie in front of the computer, doing some stuff, preparing my cycle touring in five months. Yeah, it's a long time. Winter is long, so I dream about summer and I drink that smoothie slowly and the cats visit me and also Paul visits me. What else can I say? Well, the only supplements that I take is B12 and that's it. I don't take anything else. And by the way, I haven't announced that uh, on YouTube, but I do coaching. So if you're interested, the link is in the description, but I want only committed people. The focus should not be a quick weight loss. Now, what I want is something that's healthy long term, something that's enjoyable for your taste buds and something that's good for everyone, for you, for me, for the animals and for the environment. So I drank the smoothie in exactly 20 minutes, unconscious eating, looking at the screen, boo, that's bad, boo. <laughs> no, seriously, I do conscious food purchasing and at home conscious food choosing. I eat when I'm hungry and when it's time to eat, I relax, I don't over intellectualize and when I'm full, I stop eating and I'm happy. It's simple. The point is eating the right foods is the most important thing. And the vast majority of the food I eat is not organic. So how do I eat throughout the year? Well, usually I'm doing Rotil 4. Sometimes I do Rotil 12 and at the moment I do mostly raw vegan days. So frugivore mode. 
And it's not even hard when the habit is going and you have made your choice. And I still eat cooked dinners some days. And it's time to talk about dinner. So I'll start eating these dates, but I need to open them to make sure they don't have eggs. And I will have these three apples too. This is fast food. <laughs> no preparation, I just need a knife and a little plate. So here we go for the time lapse of uh, eating dinner with cats behind and Paul behind and that big poncho. By the way, this combo, you know, apples plus dates, it tastes very good, it feels good in the mouth, but it's a little bloating. So don't be surprised if you experience bloating while eating a combo of apples and dates. That's perfectly normal, but I like it. Well, it's not unhealthy, it's just that it's bloating. As you can see, I'm scrolling on my screen, uh, watching some TikTok videos, uh, good ones, not bad stuff, not stupid stuff. And yeah, this is mindless eating again. Ah, it doesn't matter, it, it's fine. I'm eating fruit, not dead animals. Anyway, so I alternate apple date, apple date, and I have to open every date because these have some eggs, uh, some dates are fine and others have insects, uh, eggs inside, so not good. I don't want to eat that. It's time to count the total of dates that I've eaten and it's 25. Let's finish these videos with the totals on chronometer. So you can see the protein intake is low, but it's enough for me. And the carb intake is high and that's exactly what I need. And the fat intake is enough. That's it. Don't forget that these numbers are only estimates because we don't know exactly how much we need to eat, neither how much we are eating. In reality, the produce doesn't have exactly what it's supposed to contain on the paper, theoretically. And what about the total calories? Well, as usual, I eat much more calories than what I need. And I've been doing that for years. And I believe that extra carbs don't make you fat. I think I've proved that on my channel. And I know that extra protein and extra fat in particular will be stored as fat in the adipose tissue 